So, till now we discussed about the material cost variances and the labor cost variances. Uh, today we will discuss about the overhead cost variances. Just for a quick recap, uh, overheads are those costs uh, which uh, we cannot directly assign to the final product. So, it is the summation of indirect material, uh, indirect labor and indirect expenses. So, if we add indirect labor, uh, indirect, uh, indirect material and indirect expenses together, what we will get is the total overhead, right. And we can also, you know, segregate on the basis of functions like for example, we can uh, consider the uh, production overheads, the marketing and selling overheads, uh, administrative overheads separately, right. So, these things we have already discussed before when we discuss the overhead cost, right, the measurement of overhead costs. In this session, what we are trying to assess is that uh, your actual overhead cost and the, you know, standard overhead cost, whether there is any deviation or not, if that deviation is favorable or unfavorable, if it is uh, favorable, then uh, how much, if it is unfavorable, then how much. If the uh, deviation is uh, too large, then we need to dig deeper into the causes of it, right, and try to find out that why it happened and how it is to be eliminated, right. So, first uh, what we are doing, we are trying to measure the overhead variances. So, these are the objectives, define overhead variances and their components, understand variable overhead cost variance learn about fixed overhead variances and sub variances, analyze how favorable and adverse variances affect the business performance, fine. So, these are the objectives of this session. So, introduction, uh, overhead variances are the differences between the standard overhead costs allocated for production and the actual overhead costs incurred, right. And uh, what are the types? So, it is just like material cost variance and labor cost variance, here is also it is the difference, right. It is the difference, difference between what? Between the standard overhead cost and the, uh, and the actual overhead cost, right. So, what are the types? There are two types. One is variable overhead variances, second is fixed overhead variances. So, variable overhead variances and fixed overhead variances, these are the two types. So, uh, favorable and adverse. So, just like before, uh, you, are, you are already aware that it is favorable, the variance is favorable when the actual costs are lower than the standard costs. This indicates better than expected performance if workers complete a task in less time or at a lower rate than expected, it leads to a favorable variances. Impact results in cost savings or higher efficiency, fine. Uh, similarly, the adverse variance occurs when the actual overheads are higher than the standard overheads. This suggests what? This suggests inefficiency and excess cost, right. So, for example, if the actual fixed overheads are uh, rupees 20,400, but the budgeted cost is rupees 20,000, the variance is adverse, fine, okay. So, first one is a variable overhead cost variance, uh, very similar to uh, the material cost variance and labor cost variance. So, what is the formula? Formula is, a uh, standard variable over it for actual output minus actual variable over it, right. So, this is the difference between the standard variable over it for actual production and the actual variable over it incurred, right. So, uh, you take your actual output, calculate as per standard what should be the variable over it and then you compare it with the actual variable over it incurred. So, the difference is the variable overhead cost variance. We can also total variable overhead cost variance, right. So, if the actual variable overhead is more than the standard variable overhead for actual output, 
we will say that it is uh, adverse. So, we will we can do it like this if uh, actual variable over it right it greater than standard variable over it for actual output we will say it is adverse right we will say it is adverse and uh, vice versa if actual variable over it is less than standard variable over it for actual output i will say it is favorable fine okay now uh, here is a problem right standard output is 400 units actual output 500 units standard variable over it 1800 actual variable over it 2000 calculate the variable over it cost variance right so uh, so uh, the formula is what standard variable over it for actual output minus actual variable over it so this is uh, this is the formula right so standard variable overhead rate is how much 1800 is the total variable overhead it is given for 400 units so it is rupees 4.50 right so your uh, variable overhead variance will be actual output standard variable overhead for actual output your actual output is 500 standard rate is 4.50 minus the actual over it it is given it is 200 so this 200 will come here right so it is 500 into 4.50 it is 2250 minus 200 now you see uh, the actual variable cost in this case the actual variable cost is lower than the standard variable over it so it is favorable right how much the difference between the two that is 250 what is the interpretation the favorable uh, variance suggests that the company incurred lower variable overhead costs than expected fine okay uh, fixed overhead variances uh, so this is for uh, variable overhead fixed overhead variances uh, these variances arise when the fixed overheads differ from standard cost due to changes in the production levels right uh, so fixed overhead volume variance uh, two components fixed overhead volume variance and fixed overhead expenditure variance so fixed overhead uh, volume variance the definition is the difference between the budgeted hours based on the normal volume and the standard hours for actual output so formula is uh, FOBB is equal to standard fixed overhead rate into standard hours minus budgeted hours for actual output. So, uh, we can use this formula for calculating the fixed overhead volume variance. So, here is uh, one problem budgeted output is 10,000 units, actual output 10,400 units, budgeted fixed overhead rupees 20,000 actual fixed overhead rupees 20,400 calculate the fixed overhead volume variance right. So, FOVV is equal to standard fixed overhead for actual production minus budgeted fixed overhead standard fixed overhead for actual production minus budgeted fixed overhead standard fixed overhead rate is equal to budgeted fixed overhead divided by budgeted output so budgeted fixed overhead is 20000 so it is 20000 budgeted output is 10000 so 20000 by 10000 is rupees 2 per unit right standard fixed overhead for actual production is equal to standard fixed overhead rate into actual output units so standard fixed overhead rate is we calculated here it is 2 rupees 2 into 10400 units that is the 
actual production here it is given 10400 is the actual production fine so if i multiply i am i am getting 20800 right so fovb is rupee 1 into right rupee 1 into 20800 minus 20000 so rupees 800 favorable fine okay uh, interpretation the favorable variance indicates that the company produced more units than budgeted and absorbing overheads uh, more efficiently fine okay fixed overhead expenditure variance uh, uh, it can be defined like this the difference between the budgeted fixed overheads and actual fixed overheads incurred right formula is budgeted fixed overhead minus actual fixed overheads here is a problem uh, budgeted fixed overhead is 20000 actual fixed overhead is 20400 calculate the fixed overhead expenditure variance right so formula is budgeted fixed overhead minus actual fixed overheads so budgeted fixed overhead is given 20000 and actual is 20400 so actual is more than budgeted so it is adverse 400 interpretation the adverse variance indicates that the actual fixed overheads were higher than the budgeted and increasing costs uh, here is a problem standard hours for uh, actual output right 20800 hours uh, actual hours worked 20100 standard fixed overhead rupee 1 per hour calculate the fixed overhead efficiency variance so formula is fixed overhead efficiency variance is equal to standard rate into standard hours minus actual hours standard rate is given here rupee 1 so rupee 1 into 20800 standard hours minus 20100 actual hours worked right uh, so it is actual hours worked is less so it is 700 so rupee 1 into 700 it is favorable right it is favorable fine this favorable variance indicates that the company used the fewer than expected and reflecting better efficiency right so in summary overhead variances are crucial for monitoring cost control in production Variable overhead variances help manage the change with production levels. Fixed overhead variances show efficiency in utilizing production capacity and resources. Thank you.